Hey guys, welcome back. This is me, Mr. Foz HD. Now you're probably thinking, why the hell am I looking down at some stone? Well, concrete. Um, mainly because if I look up, you'll be devastated. Um, I figured out how to update my vault, my vaults, and there's been a lot of changes. Now, you probably already see. Where's my barbed wire gone? Now I've I've stopped my recording on a rainy day. That's not too good, but it is a bit of a rainy day because um, they've taken out blast craft, which means barbed wire. Um, Carbon plated, carbon plate, carbon plated walling. That's all gone. Uh, hardened walling. That's all gone as well. Um, so yeah, lots of changes. Unfortunately, that's also mucked up my little secret um, hideout. I was going to show you guys. Um, other things they've changed is the capacity of energy cubes. If I go downstairs, also my um, teleporters work now, which is good. I like, I like, I like teleporters. So yeah, they've actually changed. So it's 50 mega joules now. A lot more than it used to be. These are still filling up from my um, power. Now, also, this is buggered up. I don't know how. Uh, it says track relay cart there. That's supposed to be Chris oil. So, yeah, lots of bad things have happened. I've got loads of steel from this blast furnace. Should have made me some more yet. Um, but, yeah, on the bright side, um, I've got my track back and my um, my the thing that I was going to show you guys. But um, the place that I wanted to show you, which is far over there, um, is wrecked. Now I can show you that, but you won't be very pleased. So um, f well, let's let's get back into railcraft, railcraft like we were doing um, last episode. Now someone kindly commented. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry, but um, thank you so much for commenting. Um, they told me that to power the rolling machine. Right. So I got my rolling machine. Made it again. Um, so if we m uh, look at the engines we can make, so we can make a a industrial steam engine, a commercial steam engine, and a hobbyist steam engine. So I think we're just going to make this normal commercial one. So we'll need iron gears, which is cobblestone surrounded by iron. So if we get some iron um, and some cobblestone, I'm going to need two of these. So we'll do this. And there's our two iron gears. Um, we'll also need a piston, some glass, and some iron plates. Now, iron plates, unfortunately, are uncraftable. <laughs> There's still not a recipe for them, which is really annoying. I'm clicking R on it, and it still won't let me, which is really annoying. So I've just um, spawned some in just so that I can show you guys how to do it. Um, and then we'll also need a piston. I've got two, and a piece of glass. And I, I'm, I'm, only gonna, I'm only going to make one engine. What the hell? What are these red things? I don't have a clue what these are. Okay. Um... I'm so scared. I don't know what's happening. Why are there red? I need to get my window. There's just red things everywhere. What the hell is that part of the texture or something like gone wrong? We're gonna have to also replace our uh, windows, but I'll do that in between the episodes because we don't want to be watching me re replace windows and rebuild our house. So there's our commercial steam engine. Now, if I place it down quickly, I think we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna need. What do we need here? I'm not sure. What will we have to pipe in? Um, this is a bit weird. I, I, what I might do is... I'm going to quickly make these other two steam engines and compare them, okay? So I'll be right back. Right, so I've got the other two steam engines. Now, these red things, they just suddenly turned into green, so I like saved and quit just to quickly see. Now I'll place these two down as well. So this one I think uses coal, I think, so we could probably use this one. And then this one is the same, so I think we use the hobbyist's steam engine just because that looks like the easiest one to use now if we put it up here put this engine like that and then we'll get some coal got a bunch of coal there and we'll stick the coal in there is that working? and then maybe we need some water as well, I've got some more in my inventory there we go and now I'm guessing we'll need a lever so if we get a lever get a stick and some cobblestone we have some cobblestone in our inventory that's a teleporter, not a lever. Like so. We'll stick that there. Turn it on. That's that is burning. Okay, that's burning. That's good. And I'm guessing it will need to get a higher temperature to actually start working. Now let's put in this, for example. So we'll want that. Click to craft. Okay, so I'm just waiting for this to heat up. I'm not really sure how to actually do. Oh, there we go. It's working now and this is working okay so now we're just gonna let this heat away this is gonna get a lot of steam it looks like 
Oh wow, Steam's actually come up. What the hell are these green things? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I have to play on the lowest render distance because Optifine doesn't work with this version. Yeah, this version's pretty crap, I know. But, um, yeah, oh, there you go. Look, the little arrow's working. That's good. Good, good, good. Now, we're just going to be looking at um, one tr type of track at the moment, which is, unfortunately, you can't see on this texture pack, but it is the locomotive track. The standard rail, a signal lamp, so I'll make some of them in a second, and a wooden rail bed, which you make from wooden tyres and crease oil and slabs. So, yeah, now we're just waiting for this. Nearly created it. I'm hoping this doesn't overheat. I think if it gets too high a temperature, it's at 270 degrees. I mean, that's quite high. Um, but okay, that's nearly done. So let's see. There we go. So we got our eight standard rail. That's good. Now we can turn this off. So that's quite cool. Hobbyist steam engine. So I have to remember that. So I'll probably call this like disaster and the hobbyist steam engine. That'll be what this this will be called. So um, I don't know what. Hmm. I guess we'll have to um, make this locomotive track. So I'm gonna quickly make some of these signal surveyors, uh, signal lamps, not surveyors. Um, and I'll change text pack as well. And I'll we'll be back in a second. So yeah. Okay. So welcome back, guys. Um, we're on the day four text pack now, and I've got a wooden rail bed and some signal lamps, and I've got my standard rail here. So what we're gonna want to do is put that in there. Now, is this in the ra ro rolling machine? I cannot remember. So we put it in. Does it know it's in the normal craft table, which is surprising, considering it's a type of rail? Right, welcome back. So um, I found out why these red things were coming out. Every time I click F9, which was my fraps button to record, it brought up the red little line things. And then if I click it again, it came up with these green things, which is a bit weird. So I've changed my um, recording button for my fraps. Now, oh dear, uh, something's happened to my mouse, so it's gone all weird. Um, okay, this is going to be really awkward. Um, I'll try and fix this in a second but um, yeah we'll just quickly make this so we've got our 16 locomotive track now this is proper weird Whoa. if we place down this locomotive track basically what this is for is for a special thing called a steam locomotive yeah so we're gonna go make one of these if we go back upstairs get my teleporter go to number one oh. Just missed it. Okay. So what do we need? We need a high pressure boiler, which is some steel plates. If we get some steel plates, I had to spawn these in as well, just because, you know, um, you can't make them, which is really annoying. Uh, we also need some solid fuel fire. Oh, we need some fire chargers. So we need some blaze powder, gun powder, and some coal. So if we get some coal, some gun powder, and some blaze rods we can turn into blaze powder put that put this like so and we get a oh god we got we got 30 th oh dear. we can make a lot of these if we wanted to now we need a furnace and some bricks we've got some bricks in here we need a furnace we've got some cobblestone now inventory okay we're gonna need two of these actually aren't we just remembered. Okay, right, so now we're ready. Put that there. The two fire charges out of our 30. <laughs> and put this like so. And we've got our two solid fired. Oh, we're missing a brick. Solid, f solid fueled fire boxes. And then we need to make some mine carts and some iron bars. So if we just get some more iron, we've got some actually. Uh, do we have any spare iron bars left? I don't think we do. No, right, let's just make some iron bars then. So, iron bars is like that, and a minecart. We're going to need two of these. And there we have it. So, now we'll construct this. Now, lots of people have been telling me last episode in the um, th uh, comments, uh, we. Uh, <laughs> what, am th what am I saying? Um, lots of people have been saying what I should do next, uh, which is really helpful. Uh, some people are just saying test out um, all the missiles and I've decided that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test out every single missile in the game, tell you guys what they do, um, how destructive they are and so on. And yeah, that's going to be really fun. Now I want to do it in my secret test base which is like miles over there on this track I've already made. Um, but I use carbon plated walling for it. <laughs> and as I said earlier in, the ep earlier in this like episode, 
uh, they've taken out Blastcraft, which has been pretty annoying. So it's just destroyed. So if we um, take our thing, actually, I'm going to make another minecart just so I can travel in the back with it. And what we're going to need is a lot of water. Right, so welcome back, guys. Once again, my um, vaults crashed. It's being a massive pain. But uh, right, I've got these um, steam, uh, the steam locomotive and a minecart. I've also got some coal, and we'll also need some water buckets, which I've just got. Now, uh, if we quickly go down to our track that we just placed, I'm getting hideous frame rate because of Optifine not being compatible with this version. It's just been this episode has just been really annoying, <laughs> stressful. So yeah, we're gonna place down our. Oh look at that! That looks really awesome. I'm gonna put this down. Now um, we're gonna put the coal in there. We're gonna put the. I'm just gonna shift click them in. Be easier. There we go. So it takes four buckets, and at the moment it's on shutdown. We can put it to running, which means it will go. <laughs> um, basically, uh, now it's already getting quite a bit of temperature. Now all we need is a crowbar. So I could go and fetch a, fetch a crowbar. Okay, so I went to fetch a crowbar. I've got one. Um, and it seems I've lost my train. <laughs> uh, um, oh, uh, yeah, I don't know where my train's gone. I've definitely lost my train. So I'm just gonna go and fly up here and go find it. Now you can probably see I'm I'm playing on short. Or is it tiny? I can't remember. Now I'm I'm getting 60 FPS over here, just because my bloody house is too well FPS needy. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, what the hell's this? Yeah. Uh, this is where's the tough certificate gone? Um, this is the uh, station I was meaning to show you. Show you all. Um, where, where's my where's my train gone? My train is train. Oh god, I'm I'm not going to want to make another train. Come on, where is it? Okay, so the train's actually disappeared, and there's a test certificate up here in a minecart. Okay. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to go and get another steam steam engine and quickly jump in it before this time. Actually, I'm just going to quickly kill this 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 guy. What do you think he's doing in my minecart? Oh, I just ah, oh, this is a bit annoying. Die! Come on. There we go. <laughs> right, I'm going to get another steam steam engine. Be right back. Okay, now it should work. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some buckets of water in. Oh, unfortunately, I've not got as many now. Uh, oh, and my coal's gone. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and get some coal. Okay, I'll be, I'll be really quick. Okay, so we've got some coal. Now we're gonna chuck this in here. That's gonna start burning away, I'm hoping. Come on, burn. Right, we're gonna click running, so now it's gonna start um, burning the coal. Uh, this is just in case overheats. Now, we put it at full pace. Do we want it at full pace? I think, I think we do. So we'll just wait. Some steam will come out soon. It's getting hot. Steam will come out the sides and we'll know that we're ready to go. Now I'm hoping it's going to go in this direction, that like straight ahead. Oh, there's the steam. Are you ready? Choo choo. And we're going. And we're up. Okay. I'm going to go in um, F5 mode. And I'll put a bit of launcher track here. Look at that. We've just been launched miles. And hopefully we'll enter the station. We're going to have to quickly jump out of the station, and I'll go show you my secret hideout. That's failed. You can e you can e even hear the noises of the rail now. Okay. And then we're going to jump out, and there we go. And our train's going to keep going. I'm going to get out here. I'll quickly go upstairs, see what's up here. Okay, so I've got, got a little jukebox with some CDs. <laughs> got some cake. We've got a waiting room. Okay, that's interesting. Obviously, I made this, so I know why. But um, let's quickly follow this gravel pathway. Uh, I know where it goes, and you're going to be so surprised when you see it. But, um, yeah, it's quite dev devastating. Now, imagine it had walls. Imagine that. Now, look at this. Gonna quickly change my render distance. Actually, no, I'm not because it's like a lag fest in here. Now I'm already down to 20 FPS, which isn't great. So yeah, uh, basically, this was a giant building with vines all over it, so you couldn't see it. Um, of carbon plated walling. Now we click the buttons, which is still oh oh, this literally just break. Okay, I'm just gonna put them back. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had like en energy cubes. We had teleports going to each level. We had uh, miss missile launchers and oh everything. We we had force fields. We had lights. Uh, radar stations. So yeah, we yeah. <laughs> uh, and down here we had two fusion reactors. Um, yes, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, we we went further down. Oh dear, we had endless amount of heat generators here. They've all disappeared. 
And then we go down one even more, and oh dear, we've got a few uh, two fission reactors here, and this is disgraceful. Look at this. I mean, it was so nice when when I had it. It was all finished. Even got I even tested to get power, and it was all working. It's just all been destroyed. Yeah. On that note, I'm oh, I'm really annoyed with that. I've got some bat spawners in here. Spawn to make it look um a bit more a bit more good. Uh, and I even had. Let's just quickly go over here. A massive sign saying Camp 1. Ah. Oh. And poison spikes everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty annoying. Uh, I'm going to make another little camp base sort of thing. Oh, there's some spikes there. Um, just for our next couple of episodes, because you requested it. Um, you, the viewers, that's what I'm talking to. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, because you requested it, um, I'm going to be setting off loads of missiles, every single missile in the game, and I'm poisoned. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't have a plasma cannon anymore, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to have to go and install that. But yeah, um, till next time when we're going to install, uh, not install modules, <laughs> um, when we're going to launch some missiles. Um, yeah, till then, uh, I will see you in the next episode. Till then, does that make sense? I don't think it does, but whatever. Okay, so I'll see you, see you in the next episode. It seems my my train's exploded. Oh well. <laughs>